hello students today's topic is extraction of mercury from its ore cinnabar now this process is also known as pyrometallurgical process or distillation process which process pyrometallurgical or distillation process and the mercury produced by this method is in its liquid form and it is produced above its boiling point and then its vapors are condensed so the mercury produced or obtained by this method is 99% pure you can say 99.9% .9 pure and it is useful for all the purposes and still if you require more purity then it can be further refined by multiple distillation now as i told you in my previous videos that there are four basic steps involved in a metallurgical process so we will be doing the extraction of mercury from cinnabar under these four steps so the first step is enrichment right or ore dressing or ore concentration this is done so as to remove the gangs that is the earthly impurities from the ore and to increase the percentage of ore as it is sulfide ore so it is enriched or concentrated by froth flotation process now what is done in this process is that ore is mixed with water and a bit of pine oil and this mixture is called slurry in large wooden vats and then compressed air is passed it is based on the property of differential wetting of the ore and the gang so ore gets wetted with oil on getting wetted with oil it becomes light and rises up along with the froth whereas the gan settles at the bottom so it is something like this water then ore plus pine oil and water and then compressed air is passed what is passed compressed air is passed and frothing takes place what takes place frothing froth is formed and the ore is there in the froth so this froth is skimmed off and ore is removed whereas the gang settles at the bottom so after froth flotation gang has settled down at the bottom and you have enriched ore which you have separated now the ore is sulfide ore so we know that it is difficult to extract the metal from its sulfide so the next step which we are going to do is to convert this hgs into mercury oxide so conversion of mercury sulfide to oxide it is done by roasting because it is a sulfide ore so sulfide ore is roasted that is it is heated strongly in the presence of excess of air on doing so redox reaction takes place and mercury oxide is obtained and there is an evolution of sulfur dioxide gas now we obtained mercury oxide from sulfide but actually we want to extract mercury so we come to the next step so number 1 number 2 and then number 3 that is reduction of metal oxide to metal as you know mercury is very less reactive metal hence it can be converted from mercury oxide to mercury
So mercury oxide on heating will be converted. It will be in liquid state above its boiling point. Oxygen will be in the gaseous form and the vapors formed of the mercury will be further condensed and the mercury obtained will be 99.9% .9 pure which can be used for various purposes. As you know mercury is used in thermometers also then it is also used in measuring the uh, other temperatures or pressure manometers we use mercury so that is the way how we extract mercury from its ore that is cinnabar. Thank you so much.